That looks so good. Oh, Get yeah. out of here. Now it's time for the namesake. All right, I'll go ahead and try one. You want to dive in with me? Sure, let's do All it. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. It definitely hits so. It's very tasty. Unique. Definitely a unique flavor. Welcome into another delicious episode of the ABR Road Show. I'm your host, Jay Russell, and I'm here in Perryville, Missouri, only about two hours away from St. Louis. Now, I am ready for some really, really good food, and I heard this town is known as the Brick Town for their strong foundations, right? No stronger foundation than the place that's been around since 1898. The building, that is, the Burgers of Mary Jane's, I'll tell you how long they've been around. How about you guys come inside with me and check it out? Hey everybody, I'm back in the kitchen and I got Chef Bobby with me right now. Chef Bobby, I've been hearing a lot of good things about your food. What are you making for me today? Right now I'm making the Carolina nachos. Carolina nachos? Yes. Why are they called Carolina nachos? It is the style of barbecue that we use on it. It's one of our house-made barbecue sauces. Okay. Now, these don't look like your everyday chips. What kind of chips are you using there? So, oh, it's a blend. Again, yes. So we use uh, three different kinds of tortillas to make our house chips. We fry them every morning <laughs> at our house-made seasoning. Oh, And snap. so it gives it a nice, unique taste and flavor that's a little different from uh, your normal nacho. All right, now you're putting some cheese on there. What kind of cheese is this? This is just some uh, cheddar jack cheese. It's a mix of a couple cheeses. Ooh, nice okay. and thinly shredded. Nice, And then nice. we have our smoked chicken. Oh, 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 we uh, smoke ourselves. Oh, yes. We smoke a different few kinds of meats, actually. Uh, chicken wings is another one that we do. It has a nice, unique taste to it. This is our uh, nacho cheese. Oh, yes. That looks so good. Oh, Get yeah. out of here. Now it's time for the namesake. Oh, my That Carolina oh. barbecue. Oh, yeah. And we top it off with a little bit of Pico and some scallions. It, it definitely looks colorful. Oh my oh, gosh. Yes. And that's it. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Okay, let me go ahead and grab this bad boy right bite. here. Let me go ahead and get my face up close to it. America, you know what this means. It's taste time. There you go. <laughs> I'll go ahead and try one. You want to dive in with me? Sure, let's do All it. Right, here we go. Oh, yeah. It definitely hits so. It's very tasty. Unique. Definitely a unique flavor. Then I got, I grabbed one of these bad boys, the ones you make in-house. That's what I was looking for. Like, I saw these and I said, that's cool, but I'm trying to get the stuff you putting your heart and soul into. Oh, yeah. Now, I was looking back here. You have some other tremendous dishes as well. I'm going to go out there and try some more. Is that cool? That's awesome. All right, Do let's it. go try some more food, America. Right beside me right now, this is the owner, Carissa. Chris, I've been having such a great time out here. You're just a fun <laughs> bunch of people. If you tuned into the Facebook Lives, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But probably the number one question that America has is, where did you get the name Mary Jane's? Because it could be two reasons, because I know you spent some time out in Colorado. I did. Um, <laughs> it's just an amazing name, but most importantly, it is my grandma's name, mm -hmm. Mary Jane Buckheit. This is her up in the, the sign. That's her picture. Yes. But uh, she's a just a super strong lady, huge influence on my life. And um, it just fit perfectly to name my business after her. You know, I got to say this too. Um, and I don't say this lightly, and I don't think I've ever said this on the show, but your grandma is a flirt. <laughs> Okay. She's a firecracker. <laughs> <laughs> she is a flirt and she can be, okay? Wait, uh, you have a date with her at eight o'clock, Yeah, right? I, I, I got a date too, so you know what I mean? If you watch the Facebook Live, you'll see exactly what I mean. And then I'm celebrating the fact that you have this mural on your wall. I've never seen a pink elephant with a cheeseburger <laughs> holding it. And then on top of that, he's really cool too. So he has an MJ chain on there. So oh, yeah. where did you get that idea from? So um, I've been to Brussels, Belgium. I've been to the brewery Delirium. I ended every single night 
my time in Belgium at that brewery and I had so much fun. Oh my god. It gosh. was such a, a great experience and the beer was phenomenal. So we started carrying delirium on tap here. Okay. And um, they were so amazing to us and they said, let's do a mural together, let's collaborate. So I talked to my girl Kinsey, yeah. who does murals, she's an amazing artist, and I said, I'm envisioning like, you know, the mask, eyeballs popping out, cat laser beams, and I gave her a few keywords, few ideas, and then she came up with this rendition, and it was phenomenal. It's so good, it's so awesome, and it represents everything that we are, and she put those personal touches of the chain, the hat, all about Mary Jane, and yes. I just, I love it, so. All of it together, it yeah. just makes sense. And then just <laughs> legacy, just coming here and doing this for the community, how important was this for you? Well, it's huge. This is my hometown, mm -hmm. and I love it. I get so close to my heart, and I was gone for a very long time. Um, I raised my family in another state, and I was so happy to come back home and be close to my brothers, and my aunts, and my uncles, and my mom, and my dad, and my grandparents. Uh. And um, all three of my children are here now mm -hmm. as well. We all migrated back to Missouri. Yeah. And um, it's just a beautiful thing. How important is your staff? I mean, because They're huge. you know, you could you could start at the top and have everything right, but mm -hmm. you need to have like the oil. I feel like they're the, you know, the engine that keeps things running, but how important is your staff to you? They're amazing. Um, we, ha some of us have been together for nine years, some seven, some four, some six months. Okay. But they're everything. I couldn't do any of this without them. And they really take so much pride in hospitality and being genuine to our guests. And that goes down to caring for the ingredients that we put into every single dish and preparing every single menu item, you know, to order. And um, the community has been amazing and they see it and they appreciate it. Sure. And they see all the love that the staff puts into it. What people come here for more than the, the, the staff, the music and all that. Uh, the food. The food. Okay, so start me off on the right side here. What am okay. I looking at? So this is pork rangoon. This okay. is our, our take on a crab rangoon. So we smoke the pork butts gotcha. uh, in our old hickory pit here. Mm -hmm. We um, combine a combination of cream cheese and peppers and onions Ooh. and hand fold every single rangoon to order. We serve it with a Thai chili sauce, which okay. is phenomenal. And they're delicious. Oh, yes. And this has been here since day one. We'll be 11 years old this year, and this is one of the very original recipes oh that we started. It's so creamy inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, America. Sorry. Y'all need to see this, right? <laughs> here we go. So creamy inside. This is tasty. I love how flaky it is, too. Mm -hmm. This is very, so very tasty. Tried and true. I'm embarrassed to say this. I saw somebody bring out some fries, and so I grabbed one of the waiters. I was like, if you could just give me some fries on the side, don't say anything. She was like, I got you, Jack. She brought out some fries, and then um, this lady Bonnie was all like, you're supposed to be working. I was like, oh, I am. You're doing it all. So yeah, you're the, the best fries job are in the world. Too. And then also, too, speaking about the fries, you do something special with this ketchup, too, We right? do. So, so um, we make our own smoked ketchup. And not to give away all of our secrets, but I can give away a few. Okay, go ahead. I hope you're not vegan. Because there is bacon in there. Okay. So we do the mirepoix what? of vegetables. A mirepoix is, of course, your carrots, your onion, your gotcha. celery. Line it with bacon, and then we smoke it. And then all of that bacon fat renders to the vegetables. And then the rest is magic. We blend everything else up after that. The way that you just said that, <laughs> it was magical. Okay? <laughs> okay, it was magical. I felt like I was in food heaven as you said it. I just closed my eyes and I just imagined I was just the bacon in there and just being all sauced up and cuddled and then being put in Jay's mouth. I was like, oh, no, okay, got it. We done went through the fries and the mm. delicious tasting ketchup. Who's this monster over here that's been uh, winking Ah, this is the famous Smoky Jam Burger. Okay. So first. Smoky Jam, okay. So yeah. Bad. We have coordinated, partnered with Heckley's Bakery here in town. Okay. They make all of our buns. I wanted to do um, our own take on an everything bun. So 11 years ago, we kind of played around with some ideas. They wrote the recipe and made this amazing, beautiful bun that we get fresh throughout the week. And then our beef patty is a smash style patty. So all natural, no antibiotics, uh, 
You can taste the meat in this burger. It's so good. The onion jam we make here in house and it has bacon and onions and molasses and it is just slow cooked, turns into this beautiful like thick, juicy topping for our burgers. Comes with an aioli on it, cheese, and it's one of our most popular burgers. America. <laughs> If you want somebody to make your mouth water and drool explaining the dish, I want you to come out here to Maryville, Missouri, okay? Because Chris, I'm sitting right by you. Look, I'm like, I want it right now. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a burgasm. <laughs> That's a first for me. <laughs> Sorry, I did that in public, okay? Wow. The meat is serious and it's ready to go. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I'm eating too much food right now. I got a date later at eight o'clock. I gotta, gotta calm down. Do not okay. disappoint my grandmother. All right. Oh my gosh, got to bed at eight o'clock. Okay, I'm not gonna eat too much. But the last thing I do wanna ask you though, what do you see for the future? As far as the restaurant industry for myself, like my children, both two of them out of the three, the third one is an electrician, but two of them work well, the good, in the yeah. industry. Yeah, yeah I, need, I, need a, I need an electrician, <laughs> but two of them, um, work in the business mm -hmm. and I see them carrying it on to the next generation love and it. I hope that they love it as much as I do and I hope that they care for it and cultivate it and continue to grow. That's my hope and dream for Mary Jane Ferguson that, Brew. That's so amazing. I mean, the building itself, America, has been here since 1898. 1898. So can you yeah. imagine that it carries on past that? with your the stark last name. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing all together. You definitely deserve to be on America's Best Restaurants. Thank you so much for having us. Thank I, you, Jay. My, my watch is buzzing, America. I, I gotta go get my keys and I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, Mary, Mary Jane's called. I'll be right back. I'll see you guys in a sec. Bye. All right, everybody. It's time for me to hit the road. It's almost eight o'clock and I gotta go pick up Miss Mary Jane because she told me we have a date tonight and I love to be on time. I'm Jay Russell for the ABR Road Show. Remember, don't settle for less. Life is too short for average food.